G'day guys and welcome back to the bunker. Today I've decided to do a nice little open table practice. Spread the balls around, get that cue arm going and see whether I can beat my uh, high score which is currently 50. So watch till the end to see how I go. The head cam seems to be quite popular so I thought we'll do, might do a wee bit more of that um, maybe once a week I might try and uh, beat my high score we'll see how we go so I've had a nice black there fairly easy start now I'm just going to trickle through a little bit of topspin didn't really want to have that uh, red ball there in the way makes it a wee bit awkward so the idea here was to basically stun up between those two reds above the black actually did a pretty good job considering I was hampered by that other red but I uh, didn't really want to clip that red next to the pink like that but it's still left with a good shot here to stun onto the cush and off for the black played that nicely good angle on the black Now this shot here doesn't go quite according to plan. Once again I'll try to stun up between the two reds. Thinking I'll um, have one of the reds to the middle pockets. Um, just get a wee bit tangled up here. In retrospect I probably could have played something better. What that's done is um, knock those two reds together, so now that bottom end of the table's just a little bit difficult. And of course, that's the high scoring end of the table. So, a little recovery shot here, just trickle that white over the black, give me a good angle to come off the bottom cushion back up for a red in the middle. That's a really nice shot on that black. Leave me a good shot on this red to get onto the blue. So I play this with uh, quite a lot of screw but just very softly. I feel like my game is actually starting to improve quite a bit. Um, I feel like there's a very good break coming soon, so um, fingers crossed that happens in the near future. Doing these YouTube videos is um, helping out a lot. It's really getting me on the table. Right a bit. So I've got a good shot here, I'm just going to trickle this red in, leave myself on the blue. Like I say that scoring into the table down by the pinks now quite tied up. With the two reds together and the red and the pink together. Now just bridging off the side of the table here, so a little bit longer bridge. I um, want to play a nice wee screw shot to stun down for the red into the same pocket as the blue. Played it about perfect.
there's nothing really easy available down there so I decided to take that red that I played onto and take another blue just while we're watching this guys if you um, are enjoying these videos and you want to see some more um, remember to hit the like and subscribe I really appreciate it I actually have a couple of uh, product reviews coming up soon so that should be quite interesting so playing a little bit of a uh, little bit of screw on this blue ball I play it okay but possibly a little bit much angle on that red I wanted to make sure that uh, I didn't get the red in the middle of the table interfering in this shot so I managed that but uh, sort of just rolled a little bit too far so I think here right I'll go down for the black and I actually play the shot really well it's a good weight on it just cannon the side of that red pretty happy with that But this is where it sometimes goes wrong. Um, this black normally would be fairly easy, but unfortunately it trips me up here. So I hope you enjoy the video today guys. Remember once again, hit like and subscribe if you want to see some more. Cheers.